Flava joins run with this hand, baby. Gabe folds. Maybe. Looking back, I guess it makes a bit of sense for Scotty to lead out with three spades and three to a straight on the board. You don't want a nine or a jack to peel off or a fourth spade and then be left in no man's land with two pairs. You got it, baby. It's all good. Scotty up two and a half to one in chips, continues to take away from Gabe's stack. Trey Deuce. He'll limp in. Gabe with Jack five. Will check. I think Gabe might actually be a little frustrated at the way Scotty is keeping pot small. It's going to make it tough for Kaplan to climb back into the match. Gabe pairs his Jack and checks. Scotty bets 3,000. Gabe calls. Scotty just taking a quick stab. Gabe improves his two pair to Jackson five. Scotty with the open-ended straight draw. Going to be tough to fire again in All spite right. of that fact. And he does check behind. Scotty makes his straight on the river. This is going to be bad for Gabe Kaplan. He's got to love the fact that Scotty checked behind him on the turn. Now he's not worried about a four. And how on earth could you put the guy on a straight here? Gabe bets 8,000. I should have raised you, baby. Jack Scotty up. calls. No good. No good. <laughs> I should have raised you, baby. <laughs> All Gabe can do is laugh at his lack of luck. No, he's got some luck, Craig. It's just the wrong kind. Bad luck. Just because of the hand before, I throw away Jack's four. I said like, he might have Jack four this time. Oh, man. Pretty nice. Poker players yes. not known for their lack of superstition. Nice. Mm. Kaplan giving credit where credit is due. And in our other match, there's Jason Mercier taking on Phil Locke. Phil's well aware of what online phenoms like Mercier are capable of. Internet wizard is somebody who before the age of 21 sees uh, 1.5 million hands or more. There's a lot of them. Now you have to be super keen, super smart, do your homework, put in the hours because of guys like Jason Mercier. So it's great. They're getting their, their dues. You know, they're coming and taking their, their piece of pie too. I'm happy to share the picnic with guys like Jason. I just hope I beat him. I don't buy it. No poker player likes sharing his pie with a cyber sorcerer. <laughs> Locke says he's happy to share his picnic. He just wants the bigger sandwich. Yeah, poker players are like Yogi Bear. They don't want anyone else dipping in their basket. Ace-10 for Jason. Come on. Takes a second look and goes all in. He's looking to fill his basket yeah, right here. In. I call. All Phil in. calls oh. with King Thanks Jack. Call Phil makes hmm. call? I'm not sure. Me either. <laughs> well, then I have a very durable hand. Oh, so you're winning. Ace-10, offsuit for Jason Mercier, King Jack. But with the frequency you've been doing it, I thought this yeah, would just I, be, I might be dominating. Yeah. Good luck, sir. Yeah, how it goes. It's like we're pretty much evenly stuck. I'll have like two, two no, big blinds. I have like 60, 63,000 or something. Here's the problem. Come on, baby. He really didn't that need to ship it all in at this point. Ace-10 typically would only get called by a better hand. Flop misses both high. players. Mercier's ace down, still best, you know, but he's at risk of being eliminated. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know if it's coming, but that's what I was thinking. Here's the turn. Jason pairs his ace, lock drawing dead, and Mercer will double up and now taking over four to one chip lead. Would you have called there? 60. Against myself? Probably. That's what it felt like. Against you? Probably not. You know what I mean? <laughs> little food for thought for Phil Locke, who took his shot at eliminating Jason Mercier. And despite the fact that it didn't work out, Mercier not faulting him for the decision. Back with more round of 16 action at the National Heads Up Poker Championship. Scotty win with a 4-1 chip lead over Gabe Kaplan. Hey, Jack, I beat it. Yes. 
No, no. no get, get, you know what you I know, meant when I said jacks up. If, 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 I, if, if I say, if I have a, a jack, I would never say, like, you know, I should raise, raise you. Because I, you know, I just want to play safe. Gabe with King four, limps in. No, but did you know what I meant when oh. I said jacks up? Yeah, that's when you have jack seven. Uh, yeah, jacks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack six or something. Jack six. Scotty with Queen Jack Check. checks. Last hand at this level. Gabe's sitting on roughly 10 big blinds at this point. Scotty pairs his Jack Check. and checks. Check from Kaplan. Gabe picks up a wheel draw. 3,000, baby. Scotty bets three grand. For my big pair. And Gabe raises to 8,300. Should the raise you be for the flop. Scotty folds. You got it, baby. You got it. Show me the bluff, baby. Come on now. You no show bluff. Me no bluff. Maybe bluff. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I want to get to 40 so I can double up and get even. Good play there from Gabe. No limit, baby. You know, you never know. One hand. That's what I expect from Kaplan. The lines are now two and four grand. He's a more creative and unorthodox player than most. Doesn't subscribe to 100% conventional wisdom. But not for some somebody just like... 9-7 suited for Scotty. A stray. He limps in. Pair, top pair, straight flush draw. King-queen for Gabe. Raises to 11,000. Scotty calls. Kaplan pressing here. He can't afford to lose these pots with his stack where it is. Flop misses both players. All in. Gabe goes all in. Gamble, gamble. All right, man. Nothing Scotty can do. He folds. All right, now if I double up, I'm in the lead. Yes, you did. Risky business from Kaplan worked out, though. Next door, table know. four, I'm Phil just... Locke on the right, short stacked against Jason Mercier. Sitting here with 21,000. Come on. Jason puts Phil all in with pocket fives. All right, call. Phil yeah, calls with call. King Deuce. Phil calls. Let's take a look. I'm not happy about it. Phil Locke against King Deuce. Second time Locke is all in and behind against Mercier. First time he had him covered, this time he's at risk. This is what 30 point odd percent feels like. Here's the flop. Close. Phil would rather have been moving all in than calling all in with oh this hand. Right Locke pairs his king to move out in front. Doesn't matter now. <clears throat> He'll take it. <laughs> Reminder for the dealer. However, you don't need to drop that five. Although I'm strong enough, I've had a long run. If this is the end of my run, I'm okay with that. But I wouldn't mind a little, little extension on that, you know. Can I stay up later? Here's the turn. Locks King's looking real good. Turn pairs Three. the board. Locks still looking to avoid the five. It's one of these. There's two in there, you know? Easier said than done. Just put it right inside. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Nice little window. Just, it fits right there. Don't do it. I mean, I... Just match it. What? It's the five! A miraculous two-outer is going to send Locke home. That's a filthy river card right there. <laughs> well done, buddy. Good game, Incredible sir. finish. Well. Do you think the five might not have come if I didn't make that? Uh, I think it was coming. It was coming. <laughs> I hit a lot of those. Just as well just make the space for it. <laughs> he tempted the poker gods and paid for That's it. That's so sick. I'm sorry. Be careful what you wish for, Phil Locke. If you don't want to see a card on the river, don't make the mistake of giving it a landing pad. Mercier on to the round of eight, but not before a round of handshakes from the entourage. As we return, here's Leanne with the aftermath of a hectic finish. Phil, you know, earlier we've been talking to you about having so much fun here at this event. That five couldn't have been any fun for you. No, actually, it's okay. Uh, it was actually, I mean, it was a spiritual moment. We made a space for it at Atlanta, and there it was all good. You know what I'm saying? Right? <laughs> no, went, really, honestly. You're, you're not honestly, about uh, that at all? I enjoy poker so much that I, it's like give the pain or take the